Good morning students. Let's start our first chapter of civics that is diversity. Okay. Before starting the chapter, let me introduce the word diversity. What is the meaning of diversity? Okay. Diversity means differences, means vibhintai. Okay. We'll study or discuss the meaning of diversity in, in this chapter in detail. So, what we shall study about in this chapter the meaning of diversity unity reasons of diversity traditions regional differences food pattern religious beliefs characteristics of diversity in india languages religion festivals dance and music dresses food arts and paintings unity and in last case study of kerala and ladakh yes now listen imagine a garden with flowers of only one variety how it would look like all flowers will look same so variety and change are two important aspects of life variety is must in our society if the people of stone age did not try to change their situation we all would have still been in the same stone age so uh, ch ch so changes are necessary everyone needs a change and improvement okay so growth and progress happens because this is uh, of our human nature this human quality brings about inventions and innovations now the meaning of diversity you just look your class okay in class you all wear a same dress same uniform so your classmates come from different localities and different families and they may be from different religion some come from different areas others may come from other areas every individual every person has a unique identity of his or her own everybody speak different language at home for example some speak bengali or gujarati or punjabi tamil hindu so this difference is called diversity diversity means uh, pandit jawahar lal nehru former prime minister of india has coined this phrase unity in diversity it means ekta mein anekta means in india we have this uh, we have this phrase verb now unity although the students are from different diverse backgrounds diverse here means different yet they are your friends and you all study in same class in sixth class you are classmates you study and play together isn't it you have debates competitions against other sections as one united team so in a nutshell in short this is what unity in diversity okay in, we are starting from your class only okay in class you are 30 40 50 60 students okay so you all have your own identity okay you all are unique so this is called unity diversity because you all come from different background you all come from different home you all have different eating food habits your way of speaking is different from each other everything is different okay so we shall study more about this now later in the chapter our ne now our next topic is reasons of diversity why there is diversity in india number one traditions do you know the meaning of traditions traditions here means paramparai human beings always prefer to live in groups you may also look at you you also live in a family in your house and uh, the family lives in a house the house in a colony you live in a colony too and your colony is in a locality and your locality is in a district and district is in a state and the state is in a country so at every level the people around you make a difference to how you live okay at for example at home your parents teach you what to eat how to eat 
the way you eat what to wear or how to pray what to do what to not to do inside the house and outside the house so they learn these things from the parents and the elders this is what builds tradition and trends yahi sab paramparaye hain those we get from our parents okay those we get from our ancestors so understood now regional differences number 2 second point now regional differences here means in whatever in a particular area you are living you are you are living according to that area you have to live for example you are living in a cold place okay climate weather so you in that particular area you have to wear according to that climate in some regions men wear turbans and in some areas men wear caps and in some they may wear lungis or dhotis so most of our dresses and food habits have come from our ancestors ancestors here means purvaj those who lived in hot areas wore headgear headgear means sar par pehenne wala like a turban so they may save their head from scorching heat so similarly the people who lived in areas which get lot of rain wear clothes which are normally kept knee length okay so that they do not get wet when walking through water logged areas or rice fields so these regional differences are due to the area or the region where you are living at that time okay now third point is food pattern everyone eat different type of foods okay some we are northern parts of india some we uh, eat chapatis which are made of wheat and those who live in south india like andhra pradesh and tamil nadu west bengal most of the people are their rice eaters those who stayed in dry regions like rajasthan where grains like bajra was grown started eating these as basic food so every uh, region or area has a particular type of food those who live nearby sea or rivers they eat fish in their food so this is all due to Uh, this these all are food patterns and these are different of all areas now with the passing of time such dresses and food pattern became traditions which relate to people from a region or religion now next fourth point is religious belief religion over a period of period has been a big binding force among people different people believe in different forms of god you know that there are different types of religions for example hindus go to temples sikhs go to gurudwaras the muslims go to mosques and the christians go to churches so all have different religious belief still there is unity in diversity in india itna sab होने के बाद भी इतने डिफरेंसेस होने के बाद भी हमारे इंडिया में अनेकता में एकता है सो दिस फ्रेज इज राइटली सेटल्ड हेयर नाउ कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ डाइवर्सिटी इन इंडिया कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स हेयर मीन्स क्वालिटीज ओके द रीजनल डिफरेंसेस हैव ब्रॉट अबाउट many characteristics in the diversity now let us see them one by one number first point is languages our indian constitution has recognized 22 languages languages have come into prominence from different regions people in different parts of india speak different languages like people of punjab speak punjabi people of west bengal speak bengali people of tamil nadu speak in tamil and so on so yes now every people speak in different form for example people of amritsar 
speak different Punjabi that than that of Firozpur region. It means a uh, same language is to be spoken by people in different religion may different region may differ. So these variations in variations in languages are called dialects. In India, there are more than 500 dialects of different languages. Dialects here means एक ही language को अलग अलग तरह से pronounce करना. Now religion. This one is second characteristics. You know that there are many religions in India. People have different faiths and beliefs. For example, Hinduism, Islam, Sikhism, Jainism, Buddhism, Christianity. These are commonly known religions. Each one follows different customs of faith. Some religions dictate the ways of life like Jainism propagates vegetarianism. The six wear turbans. So, every religion has its own characteristics and people of different religion follow these. Now, third characteristics is festivals. Different festivals are celebrated across the country. You all know that. They are either related to religion or crop. So, on the basis of festivals, we may categorized into three uh, different types. Religion based festivals, regional festivals and national festivals. Number one, religion based festivals. Hindus have festivals like Dashera, Diwali, Holi, while Muslims have festivals like Eid ul Zuha and Eid ul Fitr. Christians have the Christmas and Easter. Jains have Mahavir Jayanti. Buddhists have Buddha Purnima and Sikhs celebrate Guru Nanak Jayanti as their main festival. So every religion has its own festival. Now second, regional festivals means related to any particular region. These festivals are celebrated in various regions. For example, Bihu. This festival is celebrated only in Assam, not only, uh, not, uh, uh, not in other states. Unam is celebrated in Kerala, Pongal is celebrated in Tamil Nadu and Baisakhi is celebrated in Punjab. So these are celebrated in this particular area only. Now third one is national festivals. National festivals you all know that Independence Day and Republic Day these are national festivals and these are celebrated with lots of pomp and show. So uh, Republic Day okay now now fourth characteristic is dance and music dances different regions in, uh, have different dance forms in India. For example, some dance forms in India are Kathakali in Kerala, Kuchipudi in Andhra Pradesh, Bharatnatyam in Tamil Nadu, Manipuri in Manipur, Bihu in Assam, Lavani in Maharashtra, Garba in Gujarat, Bhagra, Bhangra from Punjab and Ghumar from Rajasthan. So, uh, each and every region area has a particular dance form. Now, music. Musical patterns are also varied. Carnatic music is famous in southern parts of India and Hindustani music, music finds its origin in northern parts of India. Now, dresses. If you go in the marriage ceremony, you will find that uh, most of the people are wearing dresses that they may not wear as normal daily wear. So these dresses show their customary connection. Means they, those dresses may be traditional dresses. The major different forms of dresses which can be related to regions are Salwar Kameej in Punjab, Ghagra Kachli in Rajasthan, Lehenga Choli in Gujarat, Lungi in South India, Kurta Pajama in Central Asia, Dhoti Kurta in West Bengal and Northeastern parts of the country. The sari is worn in more than 10 different styles in different parts of the country and so Dhoti also. So, every each and every region has a different style.
to wear the same dress now food people from different parts of the country have different patterns of food for example people from south india eat rice dosa idli sambar vada etc they uh, consume many dishes which have coconut fish and spices in their food as in northern states mostly people eat chapatis with dal rice is less consumed than these things now arts and paintings in rajasthan there is tendency of using peacock blue color you have seen you may have seen in your bed sheets and other things also so in those dark colors are mostly used and what are the themes in those paintings legends of kings raja maharajaon ki jo velar hai velar means bahaduri aur unki legends they are centered around palaces palaces ho gaye wars ladai in sab cheezon ko zyada show kiya jata hai in south gold and blue color is used and cow is considered a holy animal in north east rivers hills tea gardens are common themes now unity you have seen that despite so many diversities in india still there is unity here you would be amazed that india is famous in the world for the unity in diversity our culture is so diverse you know that it has still many common features let us take few examples number 1 ram and krishna are two gods whose epics of ramayana and mahabharat you have seen according to ramayana you all know the story of ramayana lord ram was born in ayodhya and he traveled through the whole of india and fought a war with ravan and in mahabharat tells the story of lord krishna who was born in mathura and The world famous Tanjur paintings of the south are mostly centered around the theme of Lord Krishna. So, despite all these diversities, many of us believe in Ram and Krishna. Number 2, Shiv, a famous god of the Hindus, has followers from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, from north to south, from east to west. So many people believe Sh- Lord Shiva. The Buddhist temples in Gaya are common places of pilgrimage. For all Hindus, Jain temples of Dilwada in Rajasthan also attracts lots of pilgrims. So Muslim places like Darga of Hazrat Khwaja Mohinuddin Chishti at Ajmer, Darga of Hazrat Nizamuddin Aliya in Delhi and Haji Ali in Mumbai. are places of pilgrimage for people of all faiths in india not only muslims but people of different religion go there and worship the gurudwaras famous guru ka langar or common kitchen system is food to everyone so we is uh, so many people every people celebrate national festivals like republic day and independence day so these are perfect examples of unity in diversity har koi whether uh, maybe anyone may be of hindu he or she may be of muslim sikh or christian all celebrate these uh, national festivals together so this is the perfect example of unity in diversity so see see one more example the national unity is visible during uh, sports also when uh, our indian team plays then every spectator cheer our indian team whether they may be a hindu or muslim or sikh or christian so we all stand together under the same national flag and sing the national anthem there is no separate anthem koi separate anthem nahi hai kisi bhi separate region ka so chahe koi bhi ho hum sab ka ek national anthem hai ek national flag hai so in this way we all are one
so all these things show that that despite the differences in their cultures we still have unity so we have completed here this chapter uh, have you heard sare jahan se acha hindustan hamara this song uh, is uh, has been written by मोहम्मद इकबाल एंड मिले सुर मेरा तो महारा तो सुर बने हमारा इज ऑल्सो एन इंडियन सॉन्ग दैट प्रमोट्स नेशनल इंटीग्रेशन एंड यूनिटी इन डाइवर्सिटी नाउ लेट मी टेल यू द केस स्टडी ऑफ केरला एंड लद्दाख वेर इज केरला सिचुएटेड केरला इज सिचुएटेड इन साउथ वेस्टर्न साउथ west kerala is a south western state and this area is close to equator and gets lot of rain temperature is warm throughout the year here and agricultural production so many crops are grown here like pepper cardamom tea coffee rubber coconut rice now trade and commerce vasco da gama a portuguese portuguese traveler discovered route to india and the famous arab traveler ibn batuta also visited this region so many traders brought christianity and islam here now food people of kerala prefer to eat spicy food they prefer to eat rice and coconut is used in their dishes now festivals onam is a major festival here and this is a picture of boat race this also this is also held during the festivals now ladakh where is ladakh situated ladakh is situated in northeastern part of the state of jammu and kashmir it gets very less rainfall and it is also called the cold desert of india it as it is covered with snow all most of the time of the year now agricultural production here uh, like oxygen is less as it is high up in the mountains so only some fruit trees grow here now trade and commerce ladakh is famous for the wool of the sheep and pashmina wool is taken from the sheep which is used to make world famous shawls religion mostly people follow buddhism or islam here and this area ladakh is also called a mini tibet ladakh ko mini tibet ke naam se bhi jana jata hai now uh, food mostly people uh, rear goats sheep cows and yaks here so they mostly depend on meat and milk for them now festivals loser shyang and hamis are the major festivals of ladakh so we have done the case study in this case study we have studied ki how kis tarah se different regions jo the are geographically and culturally they are different but both these are part of india so this is the fine example of diversity in india so we can say that despite so many differences or uh, diversity in india we live together we celebrate together and help each other in difficult times itna sab hone ke baad bhi we still are one so we have completed our chapter rest book exercises and question answers you will get in your next video clip that's all